The Township Tale is a very fun MMO-like game. Run around and collect materials to create weapons and tools which allow you to explore more dangerous areas all by the side of a community of players who can help you every step of the way. One problem with the game is how it does very little teaching new players how to do things outside of the tutorial. I hope these three videos will help new players understand everything you should know about the game. I tried to make this short form, and to waste as little time as possible, jam as much information as I could into this. This part, episode 0, will go over the character customizer, the tutorial island, and the main menu of the game. If you have already completed the tutorial for the game, you can simply skip this episode and move on to the real game in episode 1. The first part will cover everything in town, and the second part will discuss everything in the wilderness areas. But for now, you can start with the beginner stuff. In case you don't know, you can download the game from the Township Tale website. If you play on Quest 2, you can download it from the Quest Store. This tutorial is recorded on the PC VR version of the game. If you are playing on Quest, everything should be the same. As of writing, the Quest version does not have as many features as the PC VR version has, but the features it does should be the same as the PC VR version. To see the current Quest compatibility, check the pinned comment. Timestamps for everything in the video are in the description. Alright, let's do it. You will need to customize the way you look in-game by messing around with the character customizer. Pick up items and drop them on the character. You can grab to take items off. Move the knob to scroll through the options, and swipe with your hand to move to the next page. Use the paintbrush to the right to recolor any items. Use the big brush for main colors, and use the small brush for secondary colors. Anything with the Talum icon will need to be purchased with nachos, or Talums. Talums are the premium currency for this game, however you cannot buy anything pay to win. It is all exclusive to cosmetics, which do nothing gameplay wise. When you are happy with the character you have made, you can turn the small switch to save your creation, and place it on the shelf to your right to save it. Throw the little guy on your character to look the part. And if you don't like him, you can send the booger to hell. Stand on the gray thingy behind you to exit. Some people can get stuck in the tutorial, so here is a quick walkthrough. Run up to the island on the left from the main island. Read what it says and put your hand on the lock boxes. Hold a grip until it makes you let go. This island shows you how to use the menu. Everything here is pretty straightforward. Side note, to get the friend thing to work, the other player must be holding grip on the card while you're holding it, and then you must let go. To craft a backpack, you will need to collect sticks and dry grass as materials, and you can use a hammer to pound in the nails. A single line means one of the given material, and a dotted line means ten. To make the grass bag, you will need ten sticks and six dry grass. Place the sticks and dry grass on the blue highlights and let go when they turn green. Sometimes, a blue highlight of a nail will pop up. Hit the nail with your hammer made from a rock and stick. If the nail gets bent, or if you hit it too hard, this will break the material. So be careful. Finish crafting the bag. Once it is done, you can put it up behind your back. You can quickly put items in your backpack by dropping them behind your head, in the same place you would drop and pick up your backpack. To complete the task of moving items, Hold a grip over at least two items in your inventory slot to create a pouch of that item. You can grab a single item, or you can hold a grip on the pouch in order to split it in half. Use the joysticks to move items in between the pouches. Bonus tip! You can scoop items with the pouch for easy collecting. Next, create a flint hatchet with a stick and flint. 
Walk over to the tree island. Some trees are part of the map, and thus indestructible. Some trees are apple trees. Please do not chop these down. A tree that looks like this is fair game for chopping. Hit the tree with your flint hatchet to chop it down. You can chop segments into wedges, which are collectible. Make sure you destroy the stump, or else the tree will not be able to grow back. You can eat apples from apple trees, or you can eat blueberries from blueberry bushes. The final part of the tutorial is the mine. Grab your flint hatchet you made before and add a piece of dry grass to the top. This creates a torch. You can use a rock or another flint to light the dry grass. Use the torch to see in the dark cave. Hit rocks with your hatchet. This is coal. And this is copper. Mine any of them to complete the tutorial. Once you see a lock on your screen, it means you have finished the tutorial, and you can now leave and join a real server. Now, the most important question. Is fall damage a thing? If you do not see the lock, go back to the spot where you spawned and see where you might have forgotten to complete anything. To leave the tutorial, hold the menu and hold your hand over the door button, then let go of the menu button. Grab the orb, hold it into your face, and let go. This will bring you to the main menu. The main menu of a township tale lets you do a few things. First off, you can choose which servers you want to join by using this wheel. Put the orb on your face to join the selected server. If you have not completed the tutorial, you cannot join other servers. Pull the open servers lever to see all servers. And pull my servers to see what servers you have joined in the past. If you are joining a community server, I recommend joining their Discord as well since it will be easier to contact other players as well as mods if anything were to happen or if you need to ask questions. If you need any information about the game, going to the Township Tale wiki may prove useful. An important reminder for the wiki is it is created by the community and is not always accurate. To the left is the Options menu. Pull the lever to access the options. Very self-explanatory. Outside, you can find the character customizer again. You can mess around here and find the hidden easter eggs if you want to.